What is up, everyone? You are checking out the Uncensored Pro Wrestling Podcast. I am Ian, and we are on our Broken Skull Sessions series recap. We are on a huge, huge roll. We just did our, our episode, and that got 3.7 thousand views. Thank you, everyone, for checking us out. Amazing turnout for that. Thank you for everyone checking us out on our podcast as well. We're available on Spotify, Anchor, Google Podcasts, Amazon Podcasts, Amazon Music, sorry, and Apple Podcasts. And uh, we'll talk more about that later, but I just wanted to thank you all for checking us out. However, today's episode is covering the world's strongest man, Mark Henry. And Mark starts off talking about how he loved the business and he wants to see the business be better um, than it was before him. So he, he thinks the business is good, but it should be better. Now, this was filmed in 2020, so remember the timing during this. Mark watches wrestling as a fan. He loves the Mandy Rose and Otis storyline going on at that time. Um, he gets caught into it as a fan. He hates the dirt sheets and he believes that, you know, magic and storytelling is important to him. He doesn't like spoilers, which I agree. When Mark's dad died, he didn't get along with his mother's new husband, his stepdad. His brother was Superman in his household. No matter what Henry did, he can never stack up to his brother and live up to his brother. And, uh, he felt like his brother was the chosen one. And Mark's mom got him weights and he would whip, lift weights every day. Um, his dad used to put concrete crates in garbage cans so that the dogs wouldn't knock over the, the cans. And uh, it was, you know, Mark had to carry the trash cans out and instead of taking out the concrete, Mark would just carry them. Um, and he remembers one day saying to his dad, you know, why can't my brother do it? And he remembers his dad smacking him. And Mark gets emotional during this moment. And he does say that his dad did apologize to him years later, but it obviously visibly left him scarred. And anybody who has siblings will always, you know, sometimes feel that feeling like, being, you know, I don't matter. The other sibling matters more than me. So you're able to sympathize and understand Mark Henry a bit more. He was taught to be tough world was not going to hand him anything which is something that he believes he believes his strength is an extension on how he views the world um mark harry became a problem when he was younger he and his brother hated each hated each other and mark was undiagnosed with dyslexia he could do math in his head but not on paper and so he always dealt with math issues and issues in school because teachers want to believe that he could do the problem. He just couldn't explain how he got the answer. Uh, Mark met Terry Todd while he was lift, winning weight lifting competitions. And Vince McMahon calls him. And at first, Mark thought it was a prank. So he hung up the phone. Um, and um, he was afraid before Vince McMahon called. He called Vince back. Vince then called him back. And Vince had Mark fly to Connecticut. He met Mark Henry met The Undertaker, Yokozuna. And he learned that the young guys helped the older guys. So he, Mark Henry drove Yokozuna and would carry his bags and, you know, drive, drive him to shows. And he feels like that was his favorite moments in the business was working with Yokozuna. And Yokozuna took Mark Henry to his first strip club. <laughs> um, Mark didn't drink or smoke. He would just go to strip joints. That's what Mark loved to do. So Mark got paid twice as much as the other wrestlers and he never wrestled before and that he feels like put bad taste in other wrestlers mouths. He feels like Dr. Tom Pritchard was a great teacher. He worked with Tom for six months. Uh, and during that time, The Rock moved in with Mark Henry and the two of them got sent to Memphis. Mark Henry was a fast driver, which caused The Rock to always want to drive whenever the two of them were around. And Mark wished his first year integrated him with the boys a bit more. He felt like he wished he was in a developmental system. He 
he feels the system makes not a lot of money and no one will take their job because they're not on the main roster. He wants to be trained for a year before coming out. He remember he would challenge someone when he heard people talking about him. He remembers Undertaker saying, look at this new baby face. And Mark didn't know what the term baby face meant. And he thought the Undertaker was challenging him when in actuality, he really wasn't. He was 20, Mark Henry was 27 when he started in WWE. And he feels like the DSK guy has kind of helped take care of him. He remembers one time Mark was pissed because the APA ribbed him. And Mark was treated with respect everywhere he went. And Mark won a lot. And he would always get mad when he was getting ripped. He didn't like it. He said Ron Simmons was the only person who scared him. He taught Mark, Ron Simmons taught Mark Henry how to be a big man in the business. Godfather didn't know the nation, didn't know that Mark Henry was going to be in the nation. He believed that Dealer Brown was the best worker. He was willing to do whatever. The Rock was the most studied guy. He was always practicing what he was going to say. He felt like the Rock was consumed by it. Ron was a father figure. Ron wouldn't take any shit. He believes that Ron was a brilliant mind and athletic human. He retired at Florida State football, number one. He was the first person to retire there. After the nation and domination broke up, which Mark Henry was a member of, he broke his ankle. And he remembers his crushes were hidden from him. He snapped at the click. And at that point, he was sent to Canada. And he would babysit Bret Hart's kids during that time. Stu Hart, Stu Hart taught him many different holds and submissions. And Mark ended added that to his style. Mark Henry had the idea of being sexual chocolate. And he hung out with ladies. And Vince loved this idea of sexual chocolate. So we are now going to take a quick break. And we're going to talk about Mark's adventures with Mae Young. His experience in the world's strongest man competition his thoughts on many other wrestlers and what he hopes for and his advice for future wwe wrestlers so stay tuned yes welcome back definitely subscribe to us on youtube search the uncensored pro wrestling podcast and subscribe like and hit the notification bell And definitely check out Anchor.fm. It's the greatest place to create your own podcast. Subscribe and give us a five-star rating wherever podcasts are streaming. So more Henry talks about um, he felt like Mae Young was a tough woman. He talks about Mae Young and that Mae Young wouldn't take any shit. He enjoyed working with her. And Mae Young never complained about Mark Henry's driving. Like, she didn't care. And while The Rock was willing to drive him, himself rather than deal with it, that just shows how tough Mae Young was. Didn't give a fuck. We see Mae Young giving birth to a hand. And he just remember he asked Vince why she's going to give birth to a hand. And Vince just laughed about it. And he still doesn't know. Mark plays, it's not about winning or losing. It's about characters. He wanted everyone emotionally invested in the wrestling. He started to understand the business more when he won the European title. Uh, He felt like the lost art of wrestling is putting people over. It's important to make other people look good and make the story look good. Mark believes the best part of sexual chocolate was working with China. He loved trying to make China laugh. We see moments from his date. He says that China is really sweet. And he remembers a moment where Ricky Dragon Steamboat gave himself some nice words after a great match. He had during Brian Pillman's memorial service. Mark Henry really liked Hugh Morris. The two had a match on that card. He equates that match to South Keith Lee high flying a lot of energetic moves. After the match, the two shook hands, and Ricky came up to Mark Henry and said, It's good to see psychology is still in our business. And you know, he starts to get emotional. He feels like he likes to cry. They then sent Mark Henry down to OBW because he was 430 pounds. And during that time, he was able to get down to 330. During that time, Mark Henry's mom died and all he did was train. Muscle and Fitness published an article, Muscle and Fitness published an article saying that they're strong men 
are tough and they're better than Mark Henry. So Mark Henry asked Vince McMahon for some time to become the world's strongest man. And Vince said, fine, you can do that. But there is no place in WWE for a number two. And so Mark literally did the competition. He won. And Mark says that he believes he is the greatest strong man that ever lived. And this is someone who never cheated. We see where the moment he performed on SmackDown, where he held his car back with his legs. Uh, Mark moved a car out of the way because it was stuck in the road at one time while they were on a trip. Uh, we then take a look at the moment where Mark Henry broke his kneecap after splashing Krangle through a table and he landed on concrete. He tore, he also tore his leg in a match in 2006 running at Rey Mysterio. In 2011, Mark Henry came back for the Hall of Pain. He got ribbed by Vince McMahon. Vince told him that Mark was going to be in a dark match, but during that time, no one showed up. Vince Henry was pissed and he was throwing shit. And Vince showed Henry footage of that moment and um, pretty much told him he would make this big guy with, he would be huge if Henry showed his anger. Henry didn't want a negative stigma of a big black guy being mean at wrestling. Mark Henry won the world title in September 2011, and he feels like that was his proudest moment, and he felt validation. He remembers in the beginning that JR told Vince McMahon to let Mark Henry go, and when Mark did win the title, he grabbed JR, and JR was like, you're choking me. And he said, yeah, I am choking you, because remember when you said I was nothing, what am I now? And he made JR say world champion. And Kane believes, Mark Henry relays the story that Kane finally there was a moment where Mark Henry lifted up the big show and press slammed him through a table. And Kane thought that that moment was amazing. His favorite opponent was The Undertaker. Mark Henry feels like he learns a lot from The Undertaker. Mark then talks highly of Keith Lee and he says that he feels like Keith Lee brought back big guy magic to wrestling. And Mark Henry ends the interview with his advice, and it's his advice is to humble yourself and don't feel intimidated by someone's knowledge. Ask for help, go out there and do your best. And that is it for Mark Henry's Broken School Sessions episode. We learned a lot about Mark Henry's past, growing up feeling outshined by his brother, and then becoming the world's strongest man, advocating for youth, doing a lot for the WWE business. and. So with that, I'm going to announce that our next episode of the Broken School Sessions will be on Jerry the King Waller. Be on the lookout for that. But I'm Ant. Thank you for checking us out. Stay with us and we'll see.